Today we take a look at another great man of science. We believe that he was born sometime around 1285 to 1288 in England. His parents called him William and he was from Ockham, southwest of London. Today we would say that Ockham means Oak Village. When William was about 10, he was given to the Franciscan order known as the Greyfriars. It was there that he started his studies in logic and natural philosophy, which is what science was called in his day. The word, science, comes to English from the Latin scientia, which comes from sciri, which means, to know. William of Ockham, also spelled Ockham, is best remembered for something that he, himself, did not invent, which is often the case. For example, Pythagoras did not invent the Pythagorean theorem, and the Bessemer process was not invented by Henry Bessemer but by William Kelly. William of Ockham promoted and popularized Ockham's razor. A razor is something that cuts away unwanted and unneeded things, and that is exactly what William's razor does. In short, and simply stated, if two or more things explain something, then take or cut away the extra things and go with the simple explanation, the one that can more easily be tested. Here are a few examples, a person is sick. The sickness is caused by a witch casting a spell, or the illness is caused by very small bugs, called germs. To help the sick person, it is easier to treat the person for the bugs, than it is to find the witch, placate the witch, and ask the witch to remove the spell. Another example of the use of Occam's razor, is to explain how the planets move through the night sky. One belief is that angels are flapping their wings, pushing the planets, or the planets and the sun are embedded in crystal spheres moving around Earth, and at times they move backward, or in the case of Mercury and Venus, they do not move across the sky, or finally, the planets and Earth are in orbit around the sun. The first two examples of how the planets move are complex and require all sorts of fancy addendums, while the latter is simple and answers all of the questions that are asked about how the planets move. Occam's razor does not prove anything right or wrong, but directs the person as to which theory to adopt, until something better comes along. That's the great thing about science. It is always testing itself. Science is self-correcting. Science is the best, most current theory, about how something works. Science is an organized body of knowledge, wisdom, on the other hand, is organized life. Encourage organization.